Hey guys, so this is the uh, insurance math tutorial for chapter one. I believe it's question number 52. If it's not, you'll figure it out when you get to the insurance math portion. Um, so this will help you figure out how to calculate all of those insurance math questions if you're struggling with those a little bit. So question one says the patient's health plan has a $100 annual deductible. At the first of the year, the charges are $95. What does the patient owe? Well, I've highlighted the important information throughout these questions that you need to know. And so the uh, health plan for this patient has a $100 annual deductible. And if this is the patient's first visit of the year, that means that their deductible has not been met. And so with deductibles, um, if you've read through the chapter, then you know that the health insurance won't pay anything until uh, the deductible has been met usually. And so the patient will have to pay $100 of their first health care charges, the first $100 of their health care charges before the insurance will pick up anything, which means that they will be responsible for the full $95 for this visit. So the answer to the first one is $95. For number two, the patient's coinsurance percentage is stated as 75.25 in the insurance policy. The deductible for the year has been met. If the first visit, or excuse me, if the visit charges are $1,000, the payment should what payment should the medical insurance specialist expect from the payer? And then what will the amount uh, be that the patient is billed? So this question is twofold. To figure this out, we need to, um, calculator, we need to, let me move this over here so it's all the way in the screen. Um, we need to take 1,000 and multiply that by, 75% and to do that we take that times 0 0.75 that gives us $750 so $750 is 75% of a thousand you probably could have done that in your head um, and so $750 is what the payer the insurance company will pay So let me put this over here. So 750 insurance pays and 1000 minus 750 equals $250 is what the patient pays. So that's how that's figured out. For number three, the patient's coinsurance percentage is stated as 80-20 in the insurance policy. The deductible for the year has been met. If the visit charges are $420, what payment should the medical insurance specialist expect from the payer? What amount will the patient be billed? And so again, we're going to take 420 and it's an 80-20 plan, so we take that times 0.8 to get, that's the 80% that the insurance is going to pay. That is $336. Insurance pays. And uh, I can't do this off the top of my head because I am not great at math. Oh. 420 minus 336, $84 that the insurance pay, uh, patient pays. For this one. And for the next one, we have the patient is enrolled in a capitated HMO with a $10 copayment for primary care physician visits, no coinsurance requirements. After collecting the $10 from the patient, what amount can the medical insurance specialist bill the payer for an office visit? 
Uh, in this case, the patient is a part of a capitated HMO, and with capitated HMO plans, we cannot collect any further payment from the patient other than their copays. So uh, for this one, we cannot uh, collect anything, so the amount is zero because we've already collected the $10, so we can't um, bill anything, so we can bill zero dollars. So that one was easy. Poor number five, uh, the patient has a policy that requires a $20 copayment in an, for an in-network visit due at the time of service. The policy also requires 30% coinsurance from the patient. Today's visit charges total $785. After subtracting the copayment collected from the patient, the medical insurance specialist expects a payment of what amount from the payer and what amount from the patient to be billed. So again, this is two questions. And we start with the fact that uh, the patient has paid their $20 copay. And the policy requires 30% coinsurance. Okay, so we start with $785. Oh, let me turn this red. Hold on. Okay, so we start with the $785. That's the total amount. They paid their $20 copay. So that leaves us with $765, right? So then we take the, ooh, let me go back up here. So it's not so much, sorry. I'm recording videos at home and my dogs are not very good coworkers sometimes. They're cute, but they are kind of jerks. Okay, I think they're done barking now. So then we take the 765 and multiply that. by, what was it, 30%. So let me bring my little calculator up here. So 765 times 30%, Ooh, no, 765 times 0 0.3 is 229.50 that the patient will be billed. So 229.5 patient owes and let me bring my little calculator back up here. 765 minus 229.5 equals 535.50 insurance pays. So that's how you figure out number five. For number six, a patient's total surgery charges are $1,278. The patient must pay an annual deductible of $1,000. Policy states 80-20 coinsurance. What does the patient owe? Well, uh, total surgery charges are $1,278. And uh, 1,000 of that right off the top is going to be the deductible. Minus thousand dollar deductible, so a thousand of that is going to be the patient's responsibility automatically for the deductible, and so that leaves uh, two hundred and seventy eight dollars that we have to figure out the eighty twenty formula for. So of that, two seventy eight times point eight is going to give us the eighty twenty percentage. And so let's figure that out really quick. So 278 times 0.8 is going to be 220, 240. 
that's going to be insurance pays and 278 minus 222.4 equals 5560. 55.60 plus the $1,000 deductible equals 1055.60. is what the patient owes. And so that would be number six. For number seven, a patient has a high deductible consumer driven health plan. The annual deductible is $2,500 of which only 300 has been paid. After a surgical procedure costing $1,890, what does the patient owe? And can any amount be collected from a payer? Uh, AKA the insurance plan. Why or why not? So, first thing I want to figure out is if the deductible is 2500 they've paid 300 of it. That leaves $2,200 of the deductible left to pay. This insurance totals $1,890, which means that they would still have to pay for the whole entire insurance because that's still less than the $2,200 they owe in a deductible. So the patient owes all $1,890. And uh, no, they cannot bill anything from or collect anything from the insurance company because the patient still owes uh, above that actually for the deductible. Another, I think, 100 $210 above that for the deductible. And for the last one, uh, a patient with a high deductible consumer driven health plan has met half of the $1,000 annual deductible before requiring a surgery to repair a broken ankle while, a, uh, while visiting a neighboring state. That sucks. The out-of-network physician's bill is $4,500. The PPO takes effect after the deductible has been met at an 80-20 in-network plan and a 60-40 out-of-network plan. How much does the patient owe? How much should the PPO be billed? Okay, so let's sort this out. They've already met half of the deductible, um, so they paid $500 of it. So right off the top, the patient already owes another $500 before the insurance is going to cut a check for anything. So that's $500 on the patient's side already. Um, so that means that the bill uh, is $4,000. And of that $4,000, um, they're only going to pay because it was out of network. It happened in a neighboring state. They're only going to pay 60-40 instead of 80-20. And so we're going to take 4,000 4, times 0. 0.6, which is $2,400 um, that the plan pays. And then four thousand minus twenty four hundred sixteen hundred dollars plus that five hundred dollar deductible remainder. equals $2,100. I hate not having dollar signs. It drives me nuts. Um, $2,100 that the patient pays. And just because I like to show people, uh, being the teacher that I am, what a good idea it is to keep yourself in network if possible. Let's 
figure this out if she would have broken her ankle in her own state and with a network, okay? So she would have had to pay the $500 deductible or he, if it was a, if the patient was a he. Um, the um, They would have had to pay the $500 one way or the other, so that's a given. So we still take the $4,000 figure and we would have multiplied it by 8 uh, 80%, right? So 4,000 times 0.8, so 4,000, this is in network in green, times 0.8 equals $3,200 that the inch that the plan pays. which would have left $800 plus the 500 which equals $1300 patient pays. So The patient could have, if that would have happened in an in-network provider, the patient would have saved $800. So just a helpful hint, tip, tidbit of information for you. It's always good to stay in-network if you can. All right, that's all I got for you for insurance math. Uh, if you need help, let me know. Thanks, guys.